iPhone Rebel here, and today we're going to be going over the app of the week. This is my first in a series of hopefully many videos. Every week, Apple comes out with a free app, and I'll be reviewing it and telling you at the end of each video whether it was worth it. So, today's app of the week is Calendar. I've actually had this app before. They just re-released this on the 19th, and now it's the free app of the week. So, let's go ahead and open this up. So this looks very simple. It's a, it says, you know, iPhone calendar or Google calendar. I use my Google calendar more, so I'll be selecting that. So here is the app. This is what you get. This is what happens automatically once your, all your information has been synced. So let's look around. What are you supposed to do? Navigate? Oh, there you go. Let's see. Since this is a task manager, Let's use some of the tips that they ask us to do. So let's see. Go to Starbucks tomorrow. You see that? Friday. So today is Thursday and it tells me automatically that's going to be tomorrow. But let's, let's fix this word. In two weeks. Two. Okay, right, so. I didn't understand in two weeks, but that doesn't matter. You get to say like, you know, Starbucks from custom location. It's going to say, um, whatever. So you could be like this. Wake me up tomorrow at 5 PM. So there you go. It automatically is going to do that. Um, it's a very simple, simple thing. So you, you click, you know, alerts, reminders, invite other people and then boom. Tomorrow, it's going to automatically wake me up for whenever I have it at 5 p.m. Of course, um, I'm not going to be waking up at 5 p.m., hopefully. Okay, let's see what else there is in this app. So let's go into the monthly section. Look, you can turn it on its side. Kind of looks a little weird. So um, let's see. You can swipe left and right to get the monthly calendar. You know, April, March, April, May the months and what each each thing that's happening, birthdays. Looks like all I have is birthdays updated and some holidays. Let's see. Let's also go by list. So this is a by list and this actually tells me um, based off the day, like tomorrow, wake me up at 5 p.m. That little thing I just made, that's on the list. Um, it will come in reminders too. Let's see. So then it tells me, you know, tomorrow, then Wednesday, somebody's birthday, now let's go by the day. You know, it's simple, by the day, by the week, and what else? And by tasks. So this is simple, this is like, you know, you need to get something done, so you're going to add a new task and say, get groceries. And that's just a task. So the new say done, you know, remind me on the 4th of May, and then description, shoppers. So it's going to, you know, that's the description, go to shopper, and you can save it. So now when you go into upcoming tasks, your tasks, you go to, uh, let's see, inbox. So get groceries, and it's going to tell me reminder and everything. You know, this, is, this doesn't have a lot of usage, and I really don't always like calendar apps because they're, they're not always super awesome, but this is a pretty simple app. I mean, there's just a little plus button. I mean, I, I would like it if the plus button was pretty big, especially since... Most calendars, you're adding things to the calendar. I can definitely see how this app would be beneficial for iPad users. They even kind of target it to iPad users. But I do like this app overall. Let's look at the size of the app. Um, the app size is only 46.1 megabytes, and it was just updated. So this is the app of the week. I think it is definitely worth getting if you guys are trying to find a good calendar. It's a very high quality calendar has a it does it's very minimal it's a very it's almost a minimalist calendar it's straightforward it tells you the day of the week calendar settings you can jump quickly down to the days you can rotate it horizontally in the landscape mode and you can do the exact same things looks like that you know they should probably fix that should be always landscape so you can add tasks month you know, it's, it's a very simple app, definitely worth getting if you guys like free apps, 
and definitely worth getting if you're trying to find a good free app calendar. This has been the app of the week from iPhone Rebel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope that you've been able to see what this app can do and if you even want to get this app. Tell me in the comments below if you like this series or tell me in the comments below what you'd like me to do next time in an app of the week. Maybe you want certain features, more features to be shown, maybe longer or in depth or maybe some comparisons to the paid apps. I'll be uh, looking forward to what you say in the comments. I'll see you next week on the app of the week. Stay tuned. This is iPhone Rebel.